This resurrection best ball edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Underdog has just added Pick'em Scorchers where you can win 100x. Plus, every Sunday they're giving away $100,000. Use promo code SGPN at Underdog Fantasy for a 100% deposit bonus up to $500. We're also brought to you by BetterHelp. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash SGPN to get 10% off your first month. We're also brought to you by Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping with code SGP at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use code SGP. Finally, we're brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. Hey everybody, Joe Theismann here. You're listening to SGPN. So do this, let it ride. To the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Oh, we're back. We're back in the streets. Back in the streets. Two for Tuesdays here on the sports gambling podcast. Call in your class the best Ooh. of today's classic rock. <laughs> um yeah, we're doing coming at you. Coming at you. The best of today and yes, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Oh, they man, replaced the DJ so with a uh, with just a uh, AI now. Yeah, no, literally. Have you tried out the AI DJ on Spotify? No, but oh, ha- have you? It s- has a voice. Oh, okay, that's good. It's, it's a hip voice too, because <laughs> I'm a hip person. Hi, you're listening to. I you're assume- listening to KSGPN, where we play the classic rock that really rocks. I always liked when Mike there was um there was a classic rock station back in my hometown WZZO. And uh, there was another classic rock station that that came out of nowhere. They were kind of like the new upstart, and they would talk shit oh, on the other that. classic rock station. And they were uh, the Bone Radio. And uh, the, the one of their promos was, "We're the Bone Radio." That's right. We just did WZZO's mom. <laughs> like that was their actual <laughs> promo. Ah, uh, different times. Huh, classic Sean? rock. Different was times. Amazing. So if you're looking for the the Thursday night uh, props and uh, Thursday night first touchdown and DJ and parlay, we already got that in the can with Mr. Scott Reichel. Check out that episode. This episode dedicated to Underdog Fantasy well, and their best ball resurrection. Can I game. raise my hand sure. R- real quick? Dolchich. Uh, it sounds like he's coming off the IR. Not sure what he's going to be doing. I did tell you it was a twelve personnel kind of game for first touchdown, so we'll see. Yeah. I'll be reevaluating if I'm adding it. Into oh, my okay. Card. So stay tuned. Probably not. Okay. Probably, Probably not. not for Ryan. Again, my theory is that the uh, Sean Payton was hitting the bong with his college buddies. Woo, said that. Smoking my weed. Said Greg Dolchich was a joker, and someone said he's going to be playing the joker. He's a role. midnight toker. Ah <laughs> oh, man! Oh, look at this. Like, people watching on X, Sean. Oh, there's wow. a, there's some, there's a, there's a nice crowd over on X. So shout out to the Xers. Hmm. You're and big the X Xer. line. Yes. Love. Well, the X line's not open, but the X the, line the, is not open, but again, feel free to uh, draft with us. And of course you all should have signed up with underdog fantasy already promo code SGPN hundred percent deposit bonus up to $500 limited time. These resurrection uh, best ball yeah. drafts. They're only 10 bucks. I couldn't think of uh, no excuses a, of a better way to spend 10 bucks. Speaking of that, though, yeah. Little Caesars, Ryan, <laughs> the perfect uh, game day companion. If you if you're doing a best ball draft this late in the season, why not grab a Little Caesars as well as it is the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. I I feel like I'm just going to be keep ordering Little Caesars pizza because every time I I I'm talking about Little Caesars, that mouth watering pretzel crust with those big juicy chunks of salt there, and that that buttery delicious crust with the pepperoni piled high. It it just it gets me so excited. 
uh, to uh, to chow down, and especially on game day. I mean, Sunday is my day to just go hard in the paint when it comes to eating the Caesar wings, the pepperoni pizza, the cookie dough brownies. Give it to me all, little Caesars. Order online uh, during our pizza pizza pregame one hour before and three hours after NFL kickoffs, plus all day NFL Sunday. I mean, especially with the the London game, you're gonna need some carbs. You're gonna need some protein. You're gonna need some crazy bread to get through 12 hours of football. Little Caesars is there to make it happen. A delivery or our in-store pizza portal pickup. Uh, so grab some friends and enjoy some slices during the game. Little Caesars pizza pizza. We should send over some across the pond. Oh, okay. To, I yes, mean, hook again, up. Uh, I saw the Amer the. Uh, again, watching on YouTube, I'm putting uh, air quotes up here. The American food that Billy uh, touted that they were selling over at Tottenham. <laughs> it, I mean, again, it looked like a British take on America. Well, and uh, and make sure you check out. Uh, we have a new and improved Sunday pregame show. It's a, it's a combination of multiple oh. shows. We have our show uh, kicking off the last leg of it, uh, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon East. It's like a four by one hundred meter relay. Yeah, walk people through the schedule. Oh right? well, because we're playing in London, we yeah. needed to flex on people to make that make sure they understood. In fact, Sean, if we could uh, stall for a second, I can put it up on the on the old schedule. But uh, yeah, well, so, the, the, so the London guys, since they're up that early, they're getting ready for the London what? games. We have a London. American football pregame show hosted by Baz and Malcolm from the Premier League Gambling Podcast. It was so messed up because this past week it was during the Newcastle match, and which of course is Malcolm's team mm. in in soccer, soccer. Yes, or uh, sorry, uh, football, soccer, whatever they call it over there. They just and, call it soccer. And then, uh, yeah, and then of course, not only that, but a, a goal given up uh, during the time. So anyway, here here's the schedule. I'll, th I'll throw it up on top of us. But, Bangers uh, and cash, we, yeah, kick, all time kicking game. off uh, at six a.m. here on a local time for us, Sean. Which, by the way, I was up uh, engaging with the show, so not just there, uh, but, but we wanted to make sure people know we have British guy. And by the way, uh, shout out to Boz; for, he's been having bangers on every show. There's, the sausage <laughs> theme is real. They both had some sausage with them, so oh, maybe we, we got to get them some uh, little Caesars so they can put some oh. cut up bangers on top. That some, would be a great some promo. bangers and uh, four quarter calzone. Oh, delicious! A and then uh, that's on the over on the Premier League gambling podcast feed. Then we got the uh, NFL guys popping on uh, at ten uh, ten thirty east, seven thirty west uh, for some more props picks. That's going to lead into the fan fantasy lounge over on the sports gambling podcast network, fantasy football feed, and then that all leads into us. So Let's yeah, go. I would say uh, if you're not doing anything on Sunday morning, which we all know you're not, you're just waiting for the games anyway. Join us. Well, I think this, I didn't do the, uh, we need that whole, like four hours of pregame content <laughs> leading up to kickoff. I didn't do the math. Count I, you down I, to kickoff. I think it's probably like two and a half hours. So we'll, we'll just go with 150 minutes, 150 minutes of pre anyway. Let's get uh let's get this draft started. Joining us here for the best ball resurrection draft, fellow fantasy football endurance athlete and a host on the SGPN fantasy football podcast. Mr. Andrew Rob, what's happening, Andrew? What's going on, What's going guys? On, guys, as you were, as talking, you were talking about, about uh, little, uh, little Caesars, Caesars, all I could think of is Little Caesars is real pizza for real DGens. And if you guys could request a breakfast pizza for those of us watching Ooh. the London game at nine thirty in the morning, I could go for a uh, for a breakfast pizza. So uh, put that request in. Uh, l let me know when I can order the first one. And you know, young people are so spoiled today because I don't think breakfast pizza existed when I was young. Mm. I remember the first time I ran into it at a Los Angeles brunch, Sean. Yeah. It both blew my mind and also made me laugh at the idea of me being in Los Angeles at the time. Because <laughs> uh, obviously, you would never put that on a pizza, but I, I'm in. Uh, those, what, what would you go on the breakfast pizza? I'm trying to find some of the. Give me uh, a deep dish with eggs, maybe some uh, yeah. some hash browns, some bacon, peppers, onions. Uh, oh I, man, uh, soy boy might want some soy rizo or something a little lighter. <laughs> no, but yeah, no if you soy want that, rizo, come on, <laughs> get a nice get layer bacon. of bacon. Bacon is is great on there. They also have Detroit style. That would be actually a pretty decent. That's almost like a um, you know, like a bagel sandwich. Detroit style is. I love Detroit crowbar and in. It's yeah, great. Detroit's popping in. All the right, pizza. so do do we want to just get this uh, get this party started? Yep, let's do it. Let's All fire. Right, I'm, I'm gonna put, poke poke my head in. I'll All be right, first. Give me, give Happy, me a second, Ryan. What do you mean? Give you a second? I'm leaving. No, no, we got spots. Six people. Come on. Good. Five people. Okay. Hold on. I am in. Five people to go. 
Oh, Sean, Sean's probably got a deposit or something. Clap. Nope. Oh. I don't see it here. You got to go. You got to change NFL. Then you got to do the drop down. Go to resurrection. You got two right, more. I'm two, in. Oh, two people. Jesus. Oh, now I'm in. <laughs> now I'm in. Don't worry, Ryan. <sighs> Even though I said, give me a second to find the draft, you already <laughs> hopped in. Look at this guy, Andrew. I don't know how you work with him. <laughs> oh wait, I'm sure. Share this one into. Uh, Make it bacon saying a bacon egg cheese pizza. Yeah, I mean that's that's all you need. And you got the nice doughy crust there. He would know too. He's like a proper uh meat meatist. Is that what we call that those kinds of people? Oh yeah. Carnivore. Deep in the meat streets. Uh well any any regrets, any touts from the original best ball? I know, Andrew, you of course were big on Puka Nakua, but any other any hits, misses you want to toss out? Before we get going here, I got the number two spot. Uh, Kramer at the eight and Andrew 11. Yeah, I mean, from the original uh, Best Ball Mania, I, I would say some of my bigger ones would be uh, obviously Puka, uh, Tank Dell got 14% of Tank Dell, uh, have like 22% of Sam Laporta, which is nice. And then Ooh. always hate to uh, always hate to tout somebody when he gets there with an injury, but I drafted 32 percent of Jerome Ford, so oh, uh, yes, there you having go. Nick Chubb go down definitely definitely helped out. And looks like uh, Mr. Khalil Herbert gonna miss some time. Slot in Roshan Johnson, baby. Never look back. The slot. I was just be slot. careful. He also got hurt. <laughs> yeah, so. he also yeah, got injured. Uh, concussion. He has ten days. He'll he's fine. <laughs> he gets. It could be a De- <laughs> Deonta Foreman time. All right. Uh, as the first round is kicking off, any. Any big picture thoughts, strategies for this best ball draft? It is the format is is similar. There are teams that have had a buy. There are teams that aren't that don't have a buy. You factor in strength of schedule, but what are some uh, strategies here, Andrew? Yeah, so obviously, uh, you know, drafting any of the guys that, that were just on buy, like the Chargers, uh, you know, that'll give you a little bit of an advantage because you don't have to worry about the buys. Uh, you know, just watching out for recency bias as well. You know, I'm sure like Kyron Williams is going pretty high. Uh, you know, Devon uh, Han, some of these guys that that are going pretty high. You know, you kind of want to watch out for that because they could falter a little bit. Uh, same, you know, opposite way. Like Deontay Johnson hasn't been on the field because he's been hurt. He's probably pretty far down the board. That's somebody I'm still interested in picking up in this offense, um, you know, and obviously just focusing on still weeks 15 through 17. I think that's just as important as it was before. Uh, but now we have a little bit more data. You know, we can go off of looking at teams that are, uh, you know, well over the pass rate over expectation. See who's passing more, um, you know, looking at strength of schedule per position for each team as well, I think is important. So there's a lot of different ways you can go about doing this. I I've done a couple now and it does seem like the perhaps because there's not as many like mainstream rankings to just pump in it seems like the ADP is a little bit more all over the place just yeah, based well, on I, the, I, I've noticed it, um for me it's I did one of these as a warm up draft it, it seemed like they weren't knocking guys for injuries enough like no. Devin Achan well, is going to be out. They said multiple weeks. Like, be, why would you draft a guy who's be, going to be out multiple weeks? Because it's been going on for a little bit. So the ADP is influenced by people who are drafting before the injury. Oh, okay. It, right. Like he so, had that, that massive week. But so yeah, th- I guess there's stuff like that. Like, how would you have him ranked the same as most are right now? That to me is bonkers. So stuff like that, I think is worth keeping uh, keeping an eye on. All right, we'll read off the draft. Christian McCaffrey one. I'm uh, went Tyree Kill number two. Stefan Diggs, Jamar Chase, Austin Eckler, Bijan Robinson, Cooper Cup, Kramer takes AJ Brown. Dog. Sorry, Sean. Uh, Keenan Allen, Tony Pollard, Devontae Adams goes to Andrew Robb, Travis Kelsey, Amon Ross St. Brown, and now Andrew Robb back on the clock. What are you doing here, Andrew? Ooh, man. Um, I can't. I want to take Justin enough. Jefferson, That's but he's going to be out four things, man. You know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Got to take Puka. Puka. I mean, he had he had how many targets when Cooper Cup just came back? I mean, they showed that they can both coexist in this offense. Uh, Tutu was kind of the one that faltered, as I expected. So, yeah, I mean, I expect Puka to average anywhere between like eight to ten targets a game. Uh, You know, that'll be plenty in that offense. Matt Stafford is rolling right now. Yeah, I mean, my my strategy right now is Stafford does look good. Yeah, he looked pretty sharp. I think he's going to be an interesting DFS play this week uh, at home against the Cardinals. 
And I, I just in my warm up one, I did a I did a team where I had Puka and Cooper Cup. I think you can pull that off. Some Jabron stole uh stole Matt Stafford and Ryan. We go Jalen Waddle, Brandon Ayuk, and now Ryan takes Jalen Hurts. Ryan, what are you what are you doing here taking Jalen Hurts? Well, why wouldn't I take him? Oh, okay. What do you expect your Daniel I mean, Jones ownership uh, percentage to be in the resurrection? <laughs> higher. He's he's basically free. <laughs> that is true. I, he is basically <laughs> free. So down. is a couch on the street. <laughs> oh, they, this is rock bottom. You always okay. buy you, bu- buy, you low. buy low, sell high, Sean. So you walk, know. walk me through. You you're starting with the AJ Brown, uh, Jalen Hurts stack. Do you I, want me to get you a jersey to help root along? No, no, no. Unlike you, uh, this is a merely a portfolio, and I I think when you're picking down, I I couldn't. I can't help myself, but uh, I noticed Keenan Allen was going very high and I love Keenan Allen, but maybe it's all the third round I, I took of him. It's hard for me to pull the trigger in the first round. So what I found is when I'm picking this range, I'm either uh, Bijan seems to fault. I, I got Bijan in one of them. Uh, I took uh, AJ Brown in this one. And I, I want to say who's the other running back that's been going high. Oh, Eckler. Eckler fell to me in the other. Oh, okay. One. So I mean, again, maybe the Eckler one. Eckler. This is the highest I've saw Eckler. The uh, the other drafts I did, he went to me at the tenth pick, and then in the second round. So interesting. Even though he's had the buy. I don't know. This the uh, this mid season stuff is is why. Are you going to get to 150 entries, Andrew? <laughs> in resurrection, in no. Center. no. So, no. Alave you- goes, CD Lamb, <laughs> Kenneth Walker, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes. I'm on the clock, man. I don't know what to do here. I'll uh, I'll just take Devonta Smith. Keep it safe. So I I, I was gonna I I wasn't paying attention. I assumed I might be able to get Jalen Waddle too, but he was already drafted. So yeah, another crazy. Yeah. I mean, the, the, like Devonta Smith went late, maybe late third, early fourth lot in the last draft I did. So yeah. yeah. Th- Enjoying the variance. David Montgomery goes. That is interesting. He's now a second round pick. Uh, DJ Moore goes. I'm back on the clock. Oh, I kind of want to go uh, DeAndre Swift here and round things out. Oh, look at you just go bl- sucking up all the Eagles. Cla- could, classic could, Sean team. You could talk me into <laughs> Calvin Ridley. Andrew cared away in. What do you think I should do here? Uh, Calvin Ridley or who? Uh, DeAndre Swift. <laughs> I would take Ridley. All right, DeAndre Swift, it is. <laughs> I you spin in his face. No, <laughs> I, I, I was seriously considering it, but you know, I made a last second uh, audible. Are we surprised that a guy like Josh Jacobs still makes it down to the third round like this? I mean, David I mean, Montgomery he, just went. Yeah, he has been I like inefficient. I, yeah, I yeah. like Montgomery way more than Josh Jacobs. Yes, not not a ton more though. Oh, I mean, I just I'm. I mean, David Montgomery, he has the work. That offense is so much better. He's a touchdown h- hog. They don't like Jameer Gibbs. Like, it's just such a great spot. I for still him. think his role, I mean, yeah, I, I think he, it, he's going to be dependent on scoring lots of touchdowns. But yeah, which I think that. he will. Cause I, well. I, I like their offense. I mean, the argument against it is he's probably played his highest scoring game already this season. Uh, after Josh Jacobs, Travis Etienne, DK Metcalf, Justin Jefferson goes, Calvin Ridley. Kramer, you're on the clock. I mean, I I got to imagine Jonathan Taylor is going to round into shape now. I mean, you see what that offense looks like. Yeah. I don't see how, I mean, Zach Moss is fun. Sure. Well, and I think, and I think Anthony Richardson being out for, I'm going to guess like a month will help Jonathan Taylor because he would, Anthony Richardson inevitably would have vacuumed up some rushing touchdowns. Another take I have from doing a couple of these, because we're in the season, the pool of running backs is so, so much smaller. Yeah. It's so much smaller because a lot of those dart throws just don't you exist. You can talk yourself <laughs> into uh, some of these guys like, oh, you know, Israel uh, Bonaconda if things oh, break still, right. He's still a nice dart throw. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's some guys that you're just not going to be taking at all. Tua goes, so there goes my stack. Andrew uh, snags Justin Herbert. Ooh, nice job. Yeah, Saquon I mean, Barkley just, off the board. He just had his buy, and when I'm looking uh, right now, uh, out of five stars, they are a four-star ranked uh, rest of season schedule for QBs. So definitely, I uh, definitely like having that in the pocket as well. Just pew pew pew. I um yeah, I don't know. I wasn't dying to do the two a stack. I'm fine with um, Tyreek solo. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, it, it's nice to get that. Tua's stack. expensive, huh? No, I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, that's part of it, and he doesn't give you much rushing upside. I I'd rather roll the dice with some of these other guys, Lamar, even Fields. I think because I, I I still think Fields is kind of an interesting fantasy guy because. I mean, back to back weeks with four passing touchdowns. I know it's some of the defenses he faced. No offense, uh, Andrew, but uh, kind of kind of a sieve there on the defensive side. I think he's, and it seems like he's running more. He has some confidence. Like the Bears, Fields is kind of interesting again after a horrible couple games there to start. Yeah, very interesting. Sam Laporta goes in the fourth round. I mean, that's got to be one of the bigger. ADP risers, Derek Henry goes, Debo off the board, Achan goes. I mean, like it, uh, Justin Jefferson, I guess, is fine in the where did he go? End of the third round, beginning of the fourth, but or he sorry, middle, middle of the third. Yeah. But I, I just don't want any of these guys that are going to miss an unspecified amount of time. Like it, it just doesn't seem worth it, especially taking them this high. If if you would really plummeted it in ADP. Maybe you could talk me into it, but not not at this price, right? It is funny how much that the like what they were preseason affects your in your ability to buy or not buy. Like it's affecting my ability to click draft on Nico Collins, for example. Oh, because who, he was his eighty. You got him a, at such a better <laughs> price originally, right? Oh my God, you guys laughing at my C.J. Stroud Nico Collins stacks all summer. Ha ha ha. Well, Jokes there was, on you, there were, there were some things we were correct to laugh at, but Nico Collins was not one of them. Well, I, my shit quarterback strategy. Uh, Baker Mayfield's been working yeah. out oh, nicely. CJ Stroud's been working out. My nicely. Baker, my Baker lineups are the only ones doing decent uh, because I went, and I have a lot of Cooper Cup that hopefully he digs himself out of a hole. Mike Evans just goes. I was keeping my eye on him. TJ Hawkinson off the board. Maybe I go Raheem Mostert here to pair with Tyree Kill. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I mean, he's in a good spot now. It's, it sounds like this injury, like the way they're talking about the HN injury, and I don't know if Andrew has any uh, has any deeper news on this, but it sounds like it's much, much like it's way closer to bad than like well, not, not bad. And we had this we had this conversation speed guy. on the Thursday night props episode, but they still could IR him. Like it seems like they're close to IRing him. And yeah, by the way, guess who's coming back soon? Jeff Wilson. Jeff Wilson. But I think, well, again, he's coming back off. Guess who Jeff Wilson is? One of one of McDaniel's guys that he brought. (laughs) Yeah, he really is. All right. So after I took Mostert, Lamar Jackson goes, Gabe Davis goes, and I select Justin Fields. Nice work getting the last quarterback. What do you mean? Oh, like the last. uh, I mean, I guess you could include uh, like Burrow still out there, which by. By the way, Burrow's the, a nice buy low. Fun story about the the team that I have that has been flirting with like the top of the underdog uh, best ball mania leaderboard in the regular season. Mm. It peaked as high as like ninety sixth, now back down to the fi- like fifteen hundredth. Um, it's a it's one of those teams where someone snaked me on a. It was a Higgins Chase build where I got snaked and didn't get Burrow. Ended up with Pickett and Sam Darnold. Very fragile build, but currently sitting very high up in the standings. <laughs> I love it, but it's a it's a failed Burrow stack build. Hmm. It was I a do, fuck Dara, fuck Dara I, team. I do love that they added that this year in Best Ball Mania. You can go into the leaderboard yes. and just type in anybody's name and see if they have anybody in the top ten thousand. So very nicely done, underdog. I love that. Oh shit! I'm on the clock. So Garrett Wilson goes, Amari Cooper, T. Higgins, Joe Mixon, Pacheco, and Crame Dog back on the 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 uh, the clock here. I'm gonna. I don't know if we said it. Uh, four falls of Buffalo is in here, uh, and I believe that's Patrick Fisher. Oh, oh he was kidding. in the draft. He was in the draft. We're speaking about. He just posted something on social. Yes, about he was trolling it. me. Nice. He goes, "I was just doing this as a joke uh, because my team is in last place. He had to throw me under the well, bus." Well, I'm clear. I, I'm like clear of second place by 150 points or something <laughs> like that. I'm, <laughs> I'm dominating the entire oh league. Oh my god. Kramer goes Christian Kirk. Uh, he's a guy. He's one of the guys I did have right. I think in the original best ball mania as a slight fade on Ridley. And he's, he's had a nice season so far. It's like he had a bad game until people saw Calvin Ridley being back. And then, and maybe Zay Jones being out had a little to do with that. But I mean, it, it does seem like the way that teams have adjusted to stop Jacksonville has allowed Christian Kirk to back. Like 
I think a lot of people thought it was going to be Evan Ingram, and it seems like it's maybe going to be more more Kirk. I don't know; it's hard to tell. But they, Kirk and and I was reading a thing about how Kirk and Trevor Lawrence like hang out together. So Michael Pittman goes, Christian Watson goes, and Andrew Robb selects Aaron Jones, who's injured right now, didn't uh, play in the Monday night game. What are you hearing on Aaron Jones, and what gave you confidence here to select him at the end of the fifth round? Uh, Packers have the second easiest strength of schedule uh, for running backs moving forward for the rest of the year. Uh, just kind of really leaning into in, into what you know into what I can read about strength of schedule. Uh, I I have found just based off of the research I did before the season that that has uh, panned out for a couple of my picks. So uh, kind of leaning in there a little bit. Um, man, I don't know what to do here. Um, you know, I'm going to go on a limb here and say Justin Jefferson is out longer than we think he is, and I'm going to take Jordan I, Addison. I'm, yeah, I was taking him if you didn't. Yeah. Joe Burrow, Tyler Lockett, and then Andrew selects Jordan Addison, Jameer Gibbs off the board. He could be ready to explode. Um, yes. James Cook goes. Kramer now back on the clock. What are you doing here, Kramer? Yeah, we're going to – I've been doing this a little bit, but with just the amount of tar – I sent you a graphic today, Sean, but it was just like a visualization of target share for yeah. teams. And the Zay Flowers, Mark Andrews target share over the last couple of weeks specifically was pretty stark. So I don't mind picking. Like I feel like we're buying that. A, I mean, although I was getting Zay Flowers for cheaper in the preseason, it did, does feel like this is a, a relative low point. Yeah, and Zay Flowers, uh, ADOT has uh, increased every week as well. It started out really low starting season, and it has increased. Uh, you know, which is nice to see. He's kind of running. All, like the complete route tree for them right now. I know they're kind of been down. That offensive line sucks, but man, he is, uh, he's definitely getting targets. And he's, I think, uh, he's one of the last guys that have a bazillion targets and still don't have a touchdown. So, uh, his, his touchdown regression is coming. That whole team feels like they, feels for a team that takes the preseason so seriously, it, it does feel like they start a little slow out of the gates. George Kittle goes Hollywood Brown, Brian Robinson Jr., all off the board. Adam Thielen goes, damn it. Wanted to get some Adam Thielen. He's 38 catches. Chris I, Godwin I, goes. I do regret not having more of him from the preseason. That that was probably I, I, a hard I, miss. I came on to him late and uh Ooh. wow, that's a that's yeah, a bite that right could there. Be a drop. The, the clip crowd is gonna really go <laughs> after you there. I'm buying some more George Pickens. Let's go. Nice. I mean, tell me how Adam Thielen isn't about to fall off a little bit though, right? Like I, they're looking, they're letting us know that they want to go get a wide receiver one for this team. If that happens, I mean, Adam Thielen's going to take a little bit of a hit at least. I, I just, I don't know. I, I still can't buy in. I think it's a good story for him currently, but I, I really do think he's about to fall off a little bit. Where are they get, what, what are they going to get a number one pick with or a number one <laughs> receiver with? I don't know. I mean, I, the, the, the latest I read was that they were definitely inquiring about T Higgins. T Higgins goes there. He's much better than Adam Thielen. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's I think there's a reason Adam Thielen's getting getting all these targets right now. He's the only one getting all open. So maybe you're right, but also maybe this is just what this offense is, and it needs something else to change for that to really get fixed. DeAndre Hopkins hasn't scored a touchdown yet. That's gonna change. Give me DeAndre Hopkins. Taking all my guys, Sean. So after uh, George Pickens, Jerome Ford, Terry McLaurin goes. DeAndre Hopkins off the board, and uh, hey. Guys, remember last Halloween, aka Balloween? That was fun. All shaving our pubes, aka clearing out our pumpkin patches. I know what you're thinking. Manscaped cannot top that. Well, you're wrong. Because they're bringing it back. No, not not quite Balloween. This year, it's all about the face. That's right. The beard hedger. Hedge those beards. Get your beard nice. You don't want to be, you don't want to look like Wolfman. Scaring small children with your beard? No, no, no. You don't want that. And uh, besides the beard hedger, they also have the handyman. That's right. Skin safe technology help reduce nicks and cuts. And finally, feel confident when going for that close sa shave. Get that sweet stubbly look that uh, Jimmy Garoppolo has. Maybe that's why they won Monday night because of uh, Jimmy G's amazing uh, scruff. And again, the uh, the the beard hedger is the pro kit is really cool. Cordless trimmer, nice rotary wheel, 20 hair cutting lengths. So you can get that perfect one dialed in. I love the beard hedger. Uh, again, if you trust it below the belt, you got to trust it above the belt. Go to manscaped.com, use promo code SGP, get 20% off and free shipping. 20% off and free shipping. Manscaped.com, promo code SGP. 
All right, it's time. What are you doing, Ryan? Get finishing my double stack, finishing my tight end room. Damian Pierce goes, Rashad White, Jacoby Myers, Kirk Cousins, CJ Stroud, Dallas Goddard goes to Kramer. We got some jerseys over here, man. If you're if you're a fan, well, you don't Ramondre understand structure. Goes, no, I do. That's why it's it, the, the worst thing you could ever do is be in a fantasy team with Sean. It's like, hey, Sean, you want to <laughs> start this guy this week? If that guy's playing the Eagles, it's a hard no, no matter how good the player yep. is. And it's hilarious because he'll never he'll always disguise it as like, yeah, hey, you know, yeah. Sean, you want to start? You think I'm fooling you? You want to start our number one pick? No, no, it's, it's not really a good matchup this week. Yeah. Oh, Garrett Wilson against the Eagles this week? No way. It's a great matchup. No, it is. It's gonna be. I, I don't like it Andrew. Of the you're you're an expert. Would you bench Garrett Wilson this week? No, but give him all our receivers. All right, we have Debo, we have AJ Brown, we have Garrett Wilson, and we have Mike Evans. We we can start three of them. Mm. AJ Brown gonna have bad weather, as is Garrett Wilson and Debo. I don't Sandler. think the weather will affect AJ Brown as much. Yeah, I mean it's 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 either setting uh sitting Evans or Wilson for me. Um remind me oh. who the Bucks play. Bucks are in Detroit are playing At Detroit. Home in Detroit. Yeah. I love Evans. To me, he's like unsittable. Assuming mm. he's healthy. Assuming he's healthy. Yeah, I, I mean I I may sit. Uh, I may sit Wilson. Yeah. Maybe. I mean that's a yes, it's definitely a consideration for sure. Well, I mean, I think we could sit Debo as well. Sean, Sean can do whatever for, he wants because the, the thing for AJ Brown is he's getting a ton of targets. Uh, he's uh, leading the NFL, I believe, in uh, first reads uh, target with depth uh, in the NFL. So, um, it, I mean, we, we saw it. We saw it on the sideline. I mean, he was giving shit to Hurts about not getting the ball. Is that a great teammate? I don't know, but it worked for him. I mean, I have more, uh-huh. a ton of fantasy, so I, I enjoy that they just. <laughs> make it a point to try to throw him the ball. So it it's working for him. I'll, I'll, I'll give him that. Sean, what's the bye week for what, what's the, I like how he threw some shade. Yeah, but he's a bad team. Sean, what's the Eagles bye week? Uh, it's not nine, right? 10. I think it's 10, isn't it? Yeah. How many, uh, how many running backs are we looking to, to draft here? Same. Same, uh, same formula. Yeah. Yeah. I would say five, six, somewhere in there. So Alexander Madison, Tank Dell, uh, Andrew selects Brock Hard Purdy, uh, Cole Komet goes, Evan Ingram, uh, Trevor Lawrence, Matt Stafford, Jerry Judy, all off the board. Walk us through your Brock Purdy selection. Well, uh, this is kind of where doing a lot in uh, BBM kind of helps me a little bit. Is I didn't really draft a whole lot of Niners. Um, didn't really know what to think of Brock Purdy with the injury and and you know, what was going to happen. So I kind of faded him a little bit. Now that I have a good sample size, I do realize that they are dominant. Um, you know, Brock Purdy looks good overall. So just kind of something I missed out on. And, uh, you know, that's the best thing about the resurrection draft is things you miss out on. You can go ahead and draft now. And they're only $10. Maybe I'll, uh, what's the chance? What are the possibilities I max before it closes? <laughs> so wait, I'm it's just 150. Kidding. Yeah, no, I'm just, that would it's be a lot. That of would work. be near impossible. I, uh, I, don't, I don't think I can even do the slow. There's Jared no slow Waller down. goes. Deontay Johnson goes. I'm going to pick up uh, Romeo Dubs. How you feeling about your build? Uh, pretty good. I got a weird one. Two quarterbacks, two tight ends, one running back, three receivers. I, I have trouble finding running backs I like. I'm back on the clock here. That's what I was telling you about the running backs. Yeah. It, it gets real sticky. Oh man, do I go Rashi Rice? All right, I'll he take certainly, it. yeah, I'll he's take a, him as a sh- He's he's an interesting red zone guy. Yeah, so back to your, uh, I I heard you earlier dancing on Herbert uh, and his injury. Uh, is John Johnson what he got concussed? So he pre- he's going to miss this Correct. week. No, it, no, he doesn't have to. He's right on the cups, the cusp of t- the 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 nine or ten day mark that the NFL has for the concussion protocol because he played on Thursday night. So they said that there is. A decent chance that he will be able to suit up, so he could, he would be the first person to n- not miss. About a game. to witness history under yeah. the new protocol. Okay. Correct. So it's it, it. They said it's not a lock, but they said it is a decent chance that he can play. So, um, but I did listen to two different podcasts that were talking about this, and they uh, both said the same thing about once Roshan gets the work, they're probably going to notice that he's more that he's more efficient than Herbert's been. Uh, and, and, and he just, they, they may not put Herbert back in, uh, you know, so 
we'll see. But again, hey, I don't want to dance on I, Herbert. I will say there there is an interesting divide between the efficiency bros and the film bros because the film bros love Herbert. The film bros think Herbert is like a top notch. He always hits the right hole. Uh, he's got great vision. Uh, like he's and I, as someone who watched him in college, I will say the other running backs in the same system just looked a little different. So I think there is something to that, but yeah, I mean, I, I think Johnson he's young. I mean, Deonta Foreman's I, I love Deonta Foreman as a back. I don't know if Deonta Foreman is, is going to ever outmatch him for the job. All right. Jalen, Jalen Warren is definitely taking this job over. Javante Williams goes, him. Jamison Williams goes, Zay Jones, Cortland Sutton, Josh Reynolds, Jalen Warren goes the Kramer. Najee Harris still on the board. Yeah. I, Najee Harris probably a whiff for me. I I was optimistic about their O line. It, it so, does seem like Pittsburgh does like to have a workhorse guy, but he's just it's. I, I thought it was mostly that foot injury he was dealing with, but he's just not that good, and their offensive line gets pushed around. Yeah, I think I think just in general, we just the, uh, the old guys, old guy running backs in old guy offenses. Don't always like Derrick Henry kind of looks old this year too. As yeah. sad as it makes me feel. Ryan, where are we at with Tyler Algier? Uh, well, he's still get, I mean, he's getting the carries. Yeah. Obviously, Bijan is is getting getting everyone very hard with some of his maneuvering. Uh that juke move know when to come. around the in the red zone that has like been turned into football porn last week was amazing. He he's really good. I think the key is just showing the aerial view. I think every can, player looks better in an aerial view. Like, can that. we at least? So I know there's the whole like draft capital argument why you don't take Bijan Robinson. Yes, but can we at least agree that at least the Atlanta Falcons took the running back that is a game changer? Because I don't think Gibbs is a game changer, and they were celebrating like they got the game changer. Falcons got the game changer. They they wasted the high pick, but they at least got the guy to match the talent. I Gibbs is not a first round running back already a bust. Hmm. I mean, he's not off to a good start. No, no. I mean, next to Bijan, it's gotta be. So it's gotta be tough to be him. You know, two, two at well, Zach Johnson, Roshan Johnson goes to, you guessed it. Andrew Robb, uh, Great Sean pick, Watson, Michael Thomas, <laughs> JSN, Marvin Mims, Jordan love Kramer. You're back on the clock. Oh man. Yeah, I, I as much as I like the other guy, it's also a little bring back correlation for my uh my Trevor Lawrence Christian Kirk stack, but Miles Sanders. Mm. I, I, maybe I'll end up with a couple guys here. I understand Hubbard has been out snapping him, but uh yeah. Ca just Carolina stat. ranks third easiest rest of the season schedule for running backs. I was looking at Miles Sanders, I just I don't know. I I'm a Chuba guy, so <laughs> I, I'll I'll take Chuba later. Yeah, or maybe I'll take Chuba. Oh, some of my some of my better teams are teams where I took two running backs from the same team. So screw you guys. I was right in taking Mostert and Achan on the Kyle same team. Pitts goes in the tenth round. Oh man, screenshot it. Send it to Dalton right now. And Kyle Pitts believers are strong. Anthony Richardson goes. Tajay Spears. I mean, I think Johnu Smith's an interesting. Julian McLaughlin goes. He was in my queue. Certainly someone I was considering. I'm gonna put in uh, Michael Wilson here. How do we feel about uh, Zach Charbonnet? Love him. Yes. Uh, after uh, and you know the I I would say what everyone is saying is that he when he gets his chance he's going to look so much better than Kenneth Walker. Kenneth Walker is boom or bust, right? He's he's losing yards or he's having a big play. He needs that big play. Charbonnet looks like an absolute. I mean, isn't Charbonnet the type of guy you take in these where it's like, all right, he is still a rookie, but you could imagine a world where he close out, closes it out strong and gets a bunch of carries. I, I would say he, yeah, this is the same price he was in the. This is actually a slight discount. Yeah, so I took Michael Wilson, then Jahan Dotson, Sky Moore, and then I rounded out with Charbonnet. Josh Downs goes. He's been a fun uh, guy. Shout out to C.J. Sullivan, man, the box on the Josh Downs ladder on the props show. <laughs> We were all in the Josh Dab. The streets have been talking. <laughs> the streets have been talking. Yeah, my receiver room, it's getting dicey. This is what I I I this is what I don't like about this uh this well, I got three guys, but I, I got nothing. Who's else. your quarterback, Ryan? I got Hertz and Trevor Lawrence. Okay. 
Yeah, you, I, uh, it's a very unlike me team. This is I yeah. You went good quarterback. Got good tight ends, good quarterbacks. I'm not really done. I'll be dumpster diving, I guess, in the receiver <laughs> pile. Hopefully not. I got to take a couple more right now. I'm just shooting to take young guys at this point. Give me young guys with opportunity. Hey, speaking of opportunity, uh, just a friendly reminder: this show is sponsored by Better Help. Oh yeah. Uh, have you had those moments where you're, you're trying to go to bed at night and your, your mind is racing with a bunch of negative thoughts. I, I fall into that trap uh, a lot of times where it's like, Oh man, I gotta figure this out. I gotta do this. I gotta draft a bunch of best ball teams. Uh, again, life is super stressful. You got a million things going on your personal life, your betting, your career, whatever it is. Uh, it's easy to kind of get behind the eight ball and your, your brain start working against you. Uh, whether or not you've uh, been in therapy or personally, um, you know, obviously talking to someone can really help turn things around. Uh, if you're thinking about trying therapy, better help is an easy way to do it. It's entirely online, convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule. I mean, those are all the reasons you think of, Oh, I would go to therapy, but uh, it's a pain in the butt. It's on the other side of the town super expensive. Uh, just fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Make your brain, your friend with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash S G P N today to get 10% off your first month. That's B E T T E R help.com slash S G P N. After I took Charbonnet Downs, Najee Harris, Hunter Henry, KJ Osborne, Tyler Higby, Tyler Boyd, Elijah Moore, Tyler Algier goes. It's a Tyler round. <laughs> Andrew is on the clock. Andrew, what are you doing? I'm gonna take Kenny Gainwell. All right. Still, uh, still believe in yes, Kenny sir. Gainwell. Uh, you know they're giving Swift all this work. I don't know if Swift's gonna hold up through it all if they continue to give him this load. Uh, you know that they are now. Uh, Couldn't so agree I, more. I, yeah, oh, I just fucking think... a Zach Ertz got drafted. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Kenny Gamewell uh, seems like a seems like a pretty decent pick. I mean, in the eleventh round, I could potentially get the starting running back for the Eagles. I will take that. Yeah. Yeah, and even if he doesn't um, hear that sad voice from Sean. No, I was bummed about <laughs> Zach Ertz because I I think Josh Dobbs is a fun second quarterback in this format uh, because of his running because he's they're going to be playing in garbage time a bunch so. Uh, yeah, I was, and I already have Michael Wilson, so that would have been a fun uh, little double stack there. To your point, I, Gainwell will have a role in this offense regardless of uh, Swift's health. It, what he does with it is up for debate, but certainly like two minute drill, they've used him to kind of like ice the clock as well. So uh, he's here to stay. He's not going anywhere. After Zach Ertz goes, uh, Jaden Reed goes, uh, Logan Thomas off the board. Do you guessed it, Andrew Great Rob? Pick. Great pick. I'm just waiting for EB to use him as a quarterback. We're going to see it in one of these games. He's going uh, <laughs> oh, to be uh Oh, Sam Howell goes. Greg Edwards or Gus Edwards oh, goes. Good pick. That's my guy. EB, you're already calling him EB. Are you are you on the tr uh, the fire Ron Rivera train? 100%. Yep. Him and Del Rio can go <laughs> just fucking jump off a cliff together. That the, they are god awful. EB is the only one who who should stay. Everyone else like get this. the fuck out of town. I like See, this, this is exactly why yeah. people go. Why did he go and become an offensive coordinator? This is why. This is exactly why. <laughs> he knew. It's that almost like he made, made, Yeah, he was told something ahead of time. I think. Yeah, there was Thursday, an agreement. Thursday was an embarrassment. I never felt so low as a fan. Uh, <laughs> that that was embarrassing to to say the least. So yeah, just just awful. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, even the Broncos beat the Bears. Yes. Uh, Gino goes. Dak Prescott, Curtis Samuel, Jarek McKinnon goes to Kramer. Kramer taking a rolling the dice on old McKinnon. Well, I mean, you see what he is in this offense. He'll pop his head up from time to time. Yeah. You know. Also, important to pay attention, Sean. Uh, build those nice structures. So when you have Boyd from the previous round, you want to you want to stack him up with Week Seventeen, Jarek McKinnon. You still remember all those week 17 matchups, right? Sean? Yep. Good. Haven't forgotten any of them. Well, I just let's, let's make sure you're getting correlated. I know you're anti-correlation, but James Connor goes, which uh, wow. I, I like Whoa. James Connor, but meh. is he coming back this year? I don't know. It's certainly not a uh, slam dunk. Oh, I, would, man. I saw, I saw Pang's picks in the, uh, in the comments, oh, no. so, you know, friend, friend of the fantasy program and also oh. draft day. Uh, 
a contributor. Yeah, he he's really, really, he was really high on James Conner, has thousands yeah. of dollars invested in James Conner. So, right. uh, yeah. Favorite thing that's happened to me so far, which I'm sure will happen to him too, is people starting to dan- dance on my Dan Jones grave. Oh, it's only week <laughs> five, guys. Week six. Does Dan, uh, do they shut Dan Jones down for the season? It sounds like he's playing. Okay. Is that is good or bad? Ne- is this neck injury real? Or, you know, the last one was kind of seemed a little <laughs> uh, potential. Talk, fake. Talk, so let's talk after this game. I mean, the Bills <laughs> defense really banged up. No Matt Milano. Anything can happen. Cam Akers goes to me, and then Dalton Kincaid, Chuba Hubbard, and then I uh, snake back with Tank Bigsby. Nice. I, mean, I love the I love the red zone role. Yeah, they they seem to not like giving Etn the ball around the red zone. So yeah, great and, pick. Sean. And now I got my running backs figured out. So who do you? So other? So let's just say Eb is in head coach material. Who's the head coach of the Washington Commanders next year? Oh my God, man. I don't even know. I've <laughs> I've been just so depressed about how this defense is playing. I, I've been focusing on just how I'm going to uh, find somebody to slip some poison into Jack Del Rio's fucking Diet oh. Cokey <laughs> drinks and just get the, uh, yeah, that, that dude is awful. His 1980s style, uh, just vanilla ass uh, defense is, is killing me. It's just uh, chase young. Uh, he, he, he won't be there next year. He he's gone. He's a, uh, it, He's awesome, and he's too good for the team. I think that uh, I just I don't really think he likes Del Rio. I think he's gone. Del Rio is, is a cancer. He needs to go. Ron Rivera, I can't say he's a cancer because he had cancer. You know, sorry about that. Uh, but he needs to go too. So, <laughs> it's it's EB is going to be the head coach. Uh, he can be the play caller, and then whoever the, whoever he wants to bring in for uh, defensive coordinator is fine by me. But it is just an embarrassment right now. I mean, Emmanuel Forbes is on the sideline crying because AJ Brown ran past him a billion times. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not a good look for the team. I like Forbes. I really do. I think he's going to be a good player. Um, and I like that Darius Slay, you know, said to him like, Hey man, like I was benched for two games, my rookie season. And now look at me, right? Like I like the support from uh, a divisional, uh, you know, foe. Uh, but at the same time, like Forbes needs to realize like this isn't college. You can't just be jumping every route. So uh, I think that he has now learned a lesson about getting burned left and right all the time. Like crying on the sideline. This is fucking football, man. No crying. You you were Sir. talking you were talking uh, poison I, and it made me think of something I randomly I was scrolling through the internet on the plane Sean mm. and I read this thing about um, some former aide of Donald Trump talking about how he's obsessively like paranoid about being poisoned and he loves to hear the sound of the pop of a fresh mini ketchup pile. <laughs> and I what? just I just had this image of him on a private jet like making his assistant pop open a and putting, the whole story was around ketchup on steak the, yeah, is one of the things the, he does just a food The whole crime. story was like it was him getting angry about something and taking his ketchup covered like flame and <laughs> and throwing it against the 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 limo wall but yeah just him like getting excited like a baby whenever time every time he hears that pop it's just funny. Uh, Gerald Everett goes to Andrew Rob. Talk us through uh, that selection, Andrew. Well, I have uh, Justin Herbert, have uh, Josh Palmer, so just fitting right in. And again, another guy that has already went through his buy, so don't have to worry about that. Uh, now with Mike Williams out, I actually expect Gerald uh, Everett to be the dark horse to get mm. a lot more tar- targets, especially in the red zone. Uh, so I absolutely love Gerald Everett right now. I don't hate that. He. I- but we watch games with a, a diehard Charger fan, and so the one the one thing you do have to be worried about is he's quote Gerald Everett's an idiot, can't be trusted <laughs> in the red zone, and, and he's well, accurate. And, and and I think the Don, the Donald Parham, there must be something to that because <laughs> yeah, he's in they go out of their way to throw him the ball. I get it, he's a tall freak, but that would be the only concern it's I would. Pretty have. funny. He, but between the twenty or in before the twenty, he's great, you know. Kareem Hunt goes to Andrew Robb. What's what's uh like Kareem Hunt? Uh yeah, I do. Again, this is a really good running offense and just kind of hedging my bet on how much Jerome Ford I have. Now that Jerome Ford is the guy, it's it's nice uh in BBM, but I do have a, a, a you know an exuberant amount of Jerome Ford. So kind of hedging myself just in case Jerome Ford gets hurt. Ooh. He said the hurt button. I did. I did. Oh, I I'm did. putting it I out did. there. I so didn't it realize I'm on the clock. All right. Wow. Uh, 
Pat Pat Fisher just drafted Russell Wilson in the fourteenth round. Wow. Oh, Kramer staking my cue with Traylon Burks. Uh, he's still Short there. Play. I was a little surprised. I mean, he's been a disappointment so far, but still there. Still yeah, in the they, second year. Well, he's he's been banged up. They they say there's a chance he can play in this London game. I would hold him. Well, I'm just trying to load up receivers with upside at this point. So my cue, yeah. I'm not, you know, no no stars next to guys like Odell Beckham. Especially because that would be a cursed, cursed pickup. <laughs> he was on the boat. He was. What's up with Rashad Bateman? Is he gonna play? I don't know. I got. I have some. Uh, I have some guys from that team, so I, I have been considering him. But. I mean, he uh, can't catch. He dropped a wide open touchdown. I know. Wide open. Like, come on, man. Girls got wild. Music is oh, just yeah. on point. Yeah, was uh was that ahead of your time, Andrew? I'm trying to No, no, your... I remember waking up okay. at two thirty in the morning and it was either the love songs of the nineties or it was Girls Gone Wild <laughs> that would be playing when I wake up, you know, uh, in two thirty, three o'clock in the morning. So oh, no, wow. I was yeah, yeah, I was a part of that. You're it probably a, prime time. Like great great trying, time to be alive. They were trying to reach guys like Andrew. He's like, <laughs> Hey, girls are going wild. All right. I Count was more of a Lisa in. Ann kind of guy, you know. So, like, I was, <laughs> yes. <laughs> shout out to Lisa Ann. Yes. Why are you getting her on the podcast, Andrew? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it, it's going to have to be soon because uh, Sam Howell's uh, kind of hovering around 12 right now. I think last time I checked, he was 15. He was 12. He was uh, 11 and 12 through the first three weeks. So, um, but yeah, I got to get her on when he's closer to 12 so I can, uh, you know, look a little good there. I just drafted Darnell Mooney, who uh, to pair with my field stack. Now that Fields is back. He's back, baby. Fields is back. Kendrick Bourne off the board. What's the Baker show Mayfield. called? Just the just the fantasy tips. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I would subscribe. Smash! <laughs> uh, you know, I'm here all week. Uh, yeah, yeah. Milf, man, I love football. Right? Isn't that what that is? Oh, <laughs> oh there wow. you go. Nailed it. Fucking this guy. Yes, sir. You you had that ready, uh, and you let me lead off with that shit. <laughs> Josh Dobbs goes, you sandbagging son of a bitch. All right. I already didn't have Zach Ertz, so who cares? I'm going Janu Smith, Ryan, in the 15th round. A nice little bring back Ooh. there for my Bears stacks. I like that. Getting creative. This is the witching hour, as they say. I'm gonna do some witching this round, I think. I'm gonna blow I'm gonna we're gonna get a you're gonna get a ooh, that's a nice pick from Is it worth it to get a second quarterback? Yes. Okay. It's yeah. still best ball. You, <laughs> I mean, honestly, you can probably go three. I mean, I, I'm debating. I have Goddard and Andrews, so I probably don't need a third tight end. But maybe I go third tight end. I do have a. Uh, so I, I will say, Andrew, I don't know how how deep you've looked at some of your best ball teams, but a lot of the teams for me that are are having success right now, uh, a lot of flex tight end flex in like the bully tight end build is pretty consistent. So, yeah, which I, I guess a, is expected, but yeah, I mean, it may, it still makes me think that there's probably value in a third tight end, even in those builds. Yeah. Um, oh, Daniel Jones. Go. Oh, come on guys. He was supposed to be last round. I do have a couple teams. Is he the first uh, giants player drafted? Stop it. Fantasy. Saquon no, Barkley was no, drafted Sa rounds Saquon ago. was gone. Oh, they you're being a him. dick. Okay. I, I, no, don't I, I, was, I, I don't even know why I responded. I, I was honestly trying this to is, keep up with who's that was. Um, I thought um, we were gonna. That was the first guy. You drafted? stuck your finger uh, and pointed at something on my shirt, and I looked down, and you hit me right in the nose. <laughs> That's what happened. Okay, you got a little quarterback run. Kyler Murray, people holding on to that dream. Derek Carr, Elijah Mitchell, Kramer. You're on the clock. All right. Well, uh, little oh, you stole him. Little bring back for my Jalen Hurts. But see, I, I worry about structure first, Sean. I'm just. Need that cardinal for a little bring back action on my uh my Eagles double. You're jealous. You like this. You like my team. You I see what, you, I you see you what, looking at it. You know there. what else I like, Ryan? Hall of Fame bets, baby. Go to hofbets.com or download the Hall of Fame bets app. Use a promo code SGPN. Get 50% off uh your first month. Start researching, start winning with Hall of Fame bets. The parlay optimizer is pretty awesome on the uh, Thursday night prop show. We give out some, uh, we give out some optimized parlays with the, the human version of an optimized parlay. Scott Rochelle. Oh, that was yeah, a lot of fun watching the, that. The deep data button is really pretty awesome. You just, you, you set 
the player, the target you're looking to hit at, and they tell you how percentage wise how many times it's hit, graded expected probability. All they do all the numbers for you. I I still like add a habit go to Pro Football Reference sometimes and I'm like what am I doing here? Yeah. I got Hall of Fame bets. Hit that deep data button hofbets.com. Use the promo code SGP and Shad Bateman is off the board. Kramer, you're coming up on the clock. Uh, Andrew, you dra- wow. drafted some Ajay P. Ryan. Yes. Gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go with Davis on this one. Uh, he's talking about the pom pom champion. I've been watching him talk about it, and I was hoping nobody would take this guy because Chris McCaffrey. If Chris McCaffrey gets hurt, Jordan Mason's probably gonna be yeah. the guy. I'm gonna go ahead and take Jordan Mason. I don't know if you guys heard, uh, but I did give him out his last touchdown, thirty to one. Ah, oh, great pick. God. He was in my queue. The chat was exposing my queue. Now we're getting a little <laughs> running back run. Dalvin Cook goes. Josh Kelly, Kramer, you're on the clock. Uh, I mean, I you know it made me uh, think of Jake when I saw that Keaton Mitchell's uh, sitting up here in the ADP, pretty high up. Uh, you know what? Let's just we'll uh we'll we'll allow for one Homer pick because if they, if everything's going to go to shit, you might as well run this guy out there. It's <laughs> Jalen high start chucking the ball down the field. Wow. Are they going to be able to uh, chuck it down? Right, the field like with that like I give a shit. Your fucking <laughs> questions. <laughs> Anytime you bring up the giants, Ryan goes, Oh, is there another death in the family? You want to talk to me about? I, I've said that one time. Oh, there's I've heard it twice. Okay. Two times. One was probably to a different person. I'm <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. You're working the material out. I've yeah, been it's there. Good, it's, it's good material. Makes people feel bad. <laughs> Immediately guilt them into ever bringing, you know, it what up. the worst part of it. Well, I'm watching plays from the giants game last week. You know, who's one of the better blockers. They should line Sterling shepherd up his guard. <laughs> he was blocking better than anyone else. On that fucking line last week. You know they had him in on some plays to crack to to, like, to actually help with the offensive line on run plays. Yeah, and he was doing a better job than guards being paid to be guards. Kid Otten goes. Who? Thankfully, Chigazima Conquo still available in the sixteenth. That's going to be. A steal. I love that you have Jonas Smith. I, I, <laughs> oh, I, I, dude, he's their number one tight end. Why would you not take a starting tight end? Ryan, I know, uh, I, I know you made fun of me about this take uh, before the season, but Uh-oh. do you currently know which Giants wide receiver leads the team in touchdown and touchdowns? I would assume you're you're saying it with that level of excitement because it's Isaiah Hodgins. It is Isaiah Hodgins. Uh, he he's you know scorching the earth with one touchdown. That is leading the Giants currently I, right now with one. I, yeah, and I, and I I doubt I would have pushed back on the touchdown totals, but I would have said that he's not going to be the number one fantasy guy for sure. Let's see. So right, right now, Darius I'm, Slayton has yeah, more I'm, yards I'm, than him, but that's the only person who has more yards and receptions. Nice. Yeah. I mean, that's, that would be my bet. Um, and now that we're, they're going to just say, fuck it and play street street ball. It's going to be all dead. Uh, Vanilla Vic to <laughs> Darius Slayton. Where is this playing? Coming well, no, from? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Andrew. <laughs> Go back to your blackjack. <laughs> I, oh, I do I have a just, question though. What what the hell is, no. is up with Darren Waller? All we saw all off season was uh, Darren Waller's great. They pass him the ball a fucking billion times. They they have to take him off the field because that's the only person Dan Jones can throw to. And so I drafted a ton <laughs> of him in best ball. And then we I do remember getting, that day in preseason. And just like what the shit? Twenty three receptions for two hundred thirty nine yards, no touchdowns. Like what are we? I mean, what is happening here? Uh, what I, I was I want to pull up. That's a fair question, Ryan. Uh, I mean, well, it's not just, it's, it's the least of the concerns is the fact that Waller isn't putting up uh, un- enormous stats um, because the entire offense fucking sucks. That could be a concern. Uh, but what, I mean, if you, wh- where do you think he falls in the rankings? Oh shit. I'm on the clock. Um, I mean, like top for 10, fantasy top, points. Or, or, yeah. Fantasy points. I'll, I'll, I'll I mean, say he's probably say PPR full point. PPR. Yeah, he's eight. probably like nine somewhere in there. Yeah. Let's yeah. See, uh, what yeah, is he? That's exactly what he is. Ninth. Nine. Yeah. Ninth. And uh, Dallas got her eighth. Dallas got her eighth. Uh, Dallas got her. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it, you're going to so right funny. now. You'd have to wear a mustache for like six hours. I think. Cause it's under, or what's the difference right now? It's, it's like point, it's point eight or no point six points. <laughs> okay. So point six points, 60% I of would a call day, like 14, 14, 14 hours. 14 hours. <laughs> you could just Maybe rock two the, uh, the, you could rock the Hitler for, for like one day. Oh yeah. I'll allow that. I'll allow that. 
Uh, my last name, want, my last name is Kramer. That would if you want to look for reduced days by swapping out the uh, Michael Jordan Hitler stash, I'm, I'll happily agree to that. You can deal with the consequences. <laughs> Uh, while we were talking, I was able to snag a Ryan Tannehill, uh, oh, Chigo Conquo as my as my really second good. stack. Justin Fields, Ryan Tannehill. It's like best ball mania all over again. I I, I don't want to wish injury on anybody, but you, you, we we've already seen it now twice to this guy, and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take Noah Gray just in case Travis Kelsey uh, happens Sounds to find like, himself on the IR. So, <laughs> dude, I, you, you better hope there's no one that likes uh, Taylor Swift that listens to this program. Oh, it sounds yeah, like it, you were. Sounds like you're wishing injury on Travis. No, no, most certainly not. Just yeah, just Trav. But T- Taylor Swift never heard of him. Yeah, well, t- it's uh, t- what do you what, what, what Travis like, Swift? You mean? Uh, t- what t- what did I see? Some some entertainment site was referring to them as trailer. Oh, uh, wow. that's kind of lame. It is lame. Someone's uh, well, just going to add all, trash behind that, and then that's going to explode. Well, I mean, a trailer is a big thing. Yeah. That's that's a little weird. Yeah, I'm thinking of like that uh, tractor trailer, the old NBA guy. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that wasn't a nickname because he was cute and skinny. No, it's because a uh, big dude. Eighteen wheeler. Oh, Ryan, you'll be happy if I if I snag my 18th round pick. Do you, guess who this guy is? Ryan? No idea. No, come on. At what position at least? Receiver. Okay. Uh, I actually really like this lineup. Nelson Aguilar, close. Damn. Ooh, uh, Andrew Robb. You drafted Noah Gray, and then uh, drafted a, a receiver for the New England Patriots. Walk us through Demario Douglas. Well, Juju sucks. Devontae Parker can't do anything. Kendrick Bourne's like, eh, okay. Demario Davis is at least a rookie. They're probably going to uh, get him in the lineup more often down the stretch, considering the Pats suck. And uh, they have the number one ranked easiest strength to schedule for wide receivers. Uh, I do believe that we are going to see uh, some sort of different quarterback to finish out the year over Mac Jones. So I'm hoping that that quarterback doesn't completely suck ass and uh, can actually get his uh, receivers the ball. It's a baby fucking wheel, man. Fun play. I like the angle. John Mechie. Season Someone high. took Kyle Juszczyk. Oh man, this is great. Really? That's amazing. That that is that is interesting. Is the right word? Yeah. That's... They're gonna flag this draft. Did it, have we talked? Have I talked <laughs> on air about how they flagged one of my 150 best ball mania drafts? And it's, it's too hot. And I didn't get notified till after, so I really only have 149. But they're but still you, gonna send hmm. me the plant. <laughs> they confirm that they're still. I. <laughs> I mean, I'm not someone to 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 meddle in. Uh, Give me my succulents. But I I went to the I went to social media and I was I'm I was DM it and went with the higher ups over at Underdog. Anyway, I'm getting my fucking cactus. So shout out to Underdog. Nice. The but, the Kyle Yuschek guy. Does this guy know this doesn't go into the Super Bowl? That's when you bet Kyle Yuschek. Uh, no. Fun fact for you guys. Uh, you earned a listener. One of my buddies back when the Niners played uh, in the Super Bowl against the Chiefs. You gave out Kyle Juszczyk anytime touchdown 45 oh, yeah. to one. Uh, I, I told my buddy about oh it. He put God. a larger than average bet on it and uh, was very thankful. Became a loyal listener from that day on. That wouldn't be the first time. Dare to dream. <laughs> Me giving out a fullback. Dare to dream. Or backup tight end. Sounds like something I would do. <laughs> That's it. We wow, we got to the we we made it. Oh, Ryan, what are you talking about? I still have to make my pick. Oh, uh, Donald Parham off the board. Rico Dowdle goes. I'm surprised. I wonder how often Ryan Tannehill is still getting drafted in these. He was already a fringe guy. Ryan Tannehill. Yeah. Oh, I mean, everyone might, that I'm in. He might be at uh, Kenny Pickett. Wow. Wow. Kenny Pickett. The mighty have fallen. All right. Last pick, I'm going Mac Hollins. Oh, nice. nice, nice, fun bring back. Did I see that they trade? Did, did Van Jefferson get traded today? Yes, mm, he did. To did the he? Falcons? Yeah. Uh, I believe it was to the Falcons. Yep. Watch out. <laughs> Look out. All right. So, uh, Ryan, you want to read I off? I drafted draft? a lot of Van Jefferson because he was a bring back for Giants, and now he's on the Falcons. This is excellent. <laughs> Uh, my my team: Jalen Hurts, Trevor Lawrence, with Jonathan Taylor, Jalen Warren, Miles Sanders, Jarek McKinnon, Amari Demarcado. I like that pick. Deonta Foreman, AJ Brown, Christian Kirk, Zay Flowers, Tyler Board, 
Kadarius Tony, Traylon Burks. Oh wow! So you're Jaylen just drafting Hyatt. all the guys you hate. Just uh, yeah, just firing bullets. It gets, really, it's a value thing. Market dynamics. I'm I'm carrying it over into the best ball streets. Jalen Hyatt, John Mechie the third, who by the way had his highest snap count mm. in their loss to the Falcons. So watch out. And then we got Mark Andrews and Dallas Goddard in the mega tight end position. Andrew, which by the way, Mark Andrews is the number five tight end right now. Yeah, <laughs> after not doing a whole bunch outside of a couple of games. Andrew, who do you got? Yes, my team: Justin Herbert, Brock Hard, Purdy, running backs: Aaron Jones, Roshan Johnson, Kenny Gainwell, Kareem Hunt, Samaj P. Ryan, and Pom Pom Champion Jordan Mason, Devonte Adams, Puka Nakua, Debo Samuel, Jordan Addison, Josh Palmer, Jackson Smith, and then Jigba. Demario Douglas, tight ends Logan Thomas, Gerald Everett, and Noah Gray. All righty. For me, quarterbacks Justin Fields, Ryan Tannehill, running backs DeAndre Swift, Raheem Mostert, Zach Charbonnet, Cam Akers, and Tank Bigsby. For my receivers, Tyreek Hill, Devonta Smith, George Pickens, DeAndre Hopkins, Romeo Dubs, Rashi Rice, Michael Wilson, Darnell Mooney, and Matt Collins. For my tight ends, Johnny Smith and Chigazim Okonkwo. I really like this team. According to the algorithm, um, we all did horrible. Well, Ryan. Whoa, you're oh my god, your projection is lower than I've ever seen. Actually, you and Andrew have low historically low yeah. projections. All right, just for, for reference, the the winner has twenty eight hundred. Most people are between twenty four and twenty six hundred. You guys are both projected to have twenty one hundred points. Like you're off the you're off the graph, both of you. Dare to be different, Ryan. Dare to be uh, different. <laughs> you guys are off. Uh, you're embarrassing the shield. The shield <laughs> army is gonna come and take that shield from you, Andrew. Hey, uh, thanks as always uh, for Andrew calling in. Make sure you check out the uh, SGPN Fantasy Football Podcast. What do you got cooking up, Andrew? Oh, as always, uh, every week start and sits on Wednesday with Bruni and I. So uh, get in the discord. If you have not already add in any start sit questions you have for the week, we will take a deep dive on those and uh, try to help you win your fantasy leagues um, as well as get in the discord and just ask questions in general. That is where we talk fantasy all day, every day. Uh, Yeah, guys, I will probably be uh, jumping off here and uh, doing another resurrection draft because now the juices are flowing. It's not going to stop. I may not go to sleep. Uh, uh, draft day. Uh, Just watch those juices, Andrew. Yeah, mini draft day where Lisa uh, Ann breaking down Lisa Ann Cam tape in one window. Uh, Best fall resurrection draft in the other. That's an yeah. ideal night for Andrew. <laughs> I, I I I no longer ruin socks for her. Now it's you know I'm, I I have upgraded to 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 different things. So you know. destroy a catcher's mitt. I have to do All my right. own laundry nowadays. So. Yeah, that's true. Follow follow Andrew on X at a Rob twenty three. Kramer, when we return, we will be giving out our week six NFL picks. Uh, hey, subscribe to the Patreon. Always appreciate that. You get the bonus episode, you get the pick sheets, um, you get the uh, weekly Patreon pick them contest. Going to announce the prize for that on the pick show. So much uh, great stuff over there. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second the money green. He's Ryan. NFL picks, baby. Kramer, let it. Brad.